Then when I was putting it up, people would stop, pull over and ask about it. And uh, when I was taking it down, people were pulling over and like, what are you doing? Like, we really like that piece. So that felt good, but you know, it's gotta come down. And I understood that, you know, so I wasn't upset about it, but people seemed to like it. So I had a lot more uh, positive things than bad. Most of the bad things were on the angle idea that, you know it's at an angle? Yeah, I do know it's at an angle. So. <laughs> a lot of people see Seabird being on this road and uh, one, of the f one of the paddles had flipped upside down and was jammed sort of in place, or out of place. And uh, a few people were complaining about it. So that sort of surprised me that people were actually, would call the city and complain about the paddle not moving around. And so I, I had to come out and fix that, which um, I learned a lot about that. I had another idea uh, to put in concrete pads like that, uh, like the one that we use for Seabird, um, all, over, all over Madison. Like having discrete concrete pads that um, artists like myself, a lot of the Blink Grants don't require a concrete base or anything like that, but the majority of my stuff does. And to install one every single time is is, is really costly, so um, I talked to Karen about it and she seems to like the idea that we put concrete pads and then anyone can use those pads to uh, bolt their or secure uh, their, their temporary art um, on a concrete pad, which a lot of them need. So.